Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away, fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away, fly away. Life had grown, I'll fly away, fly away. Like a bird from a prison bar that's flown, I'll fly away, fly away. I'll fly away, fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away, fly away in the morning. When I die, hallelujah, I'm I'd like to say good evening to everyone. Thank you for welcoming us out to your home tonight through the television. You know, we're just here to have church with you and just uplift the name of Jesus Christ and proclaim His kingdom. I just hope there's somebody out there tonight that might be watching that hadn't accepted Christ as your Savior, that you do so tonight before it's Amen. everlasting too late. You know, <clears throat> this may be the last chance you get. A lot of people I've heard tell stories about somebody that had almost accepted the Lord and then the later that night they they got killed in an automobile accident or something. And I'd hate to see that happen to anybody. So I'm just asking, if you haven't accepted him, tonight may be the night you need to do it. Amen. It's accept him before it's everlasting too late. There's a number on the bottom of the screen there. If you got any song requests or prayer requests, uh, just call them in. Uh, we'll do as many of the song requests as we can. We'll do all the prayer requests we get in. Uh, you know, some songs we just can't do, or some if we got so many scheduled we can't get them in. But we will try to get all the song requests in. And before we get into the service tonight, I'm gonna ask Theodore if he'll ask a blessing on the service tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, as I pray to you tonight, I pray for the ones in the rest homes and ones for the and the hospitals and the ones that has lost loved ones, and I pray that uh, they're found a way before it's everlasting too late. Amen. Amen. <laughs> next song we're going to do is uh, called Mansion Over the Hilltop. And you know, uh, the Lord's done told us that once we accept him, that he's got a mansion up there for us. So we're looking forward to the mansion over the hilltop. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below A little silver and a little gold But in that city I want a gold one that's silver line. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never roll. And someday. Oh! 
pure as gold. Don't think me poor or deserted or lonely. I'm not discouraged. I'm heaven bound. I'm just a pilgrim in search of a city. I want a mansion, a heart and a crown. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow old. And someday yonder we will never more wander, but walk the streets and of your Praise the Lord. Page 36. The next song we're going to do is uh, the old rugged cross. And, you know, it's a, the old rugged cross is the only way to get Amen. to heaven. It's through the old rugged cross. And you know, uh, we used to get a lot of requests for this song, and we haven't heard just too many requests lately. So I thought we'd just throw it in tonight and, and maybe... Uh, Stir up some memories. Good one every time. <laughs> the old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the nearest and best for a world of lost a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left His glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last Exchange it someday for a crown. In the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For it was on that old cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify. Someday for a crown. Amen. 
page 45. The next song we're going to do is When the Saints Go Marching In. You know, when the saints go marching in, I want to be one of the saints. Amen. Or else I want to be there watching them come in. <laughs> one or the other. When the saints go marching in. I'm just a weary pilgrim. All I do through this world of sin. Getting ready for that city. When the saints go marching in. When the saints, when the saints go marching in, marching in. When the saints go marching in, marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. My father loved the Savior, what a soldier he has been. But his steps will be more steady when the saints go marching in. When the saints, when the saints go marching in, marching in. When the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, and mother may God bless her, I can see her now as in, with a robe of white around her, when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, up there I'll see the Savior who redeemed my soul from sin. When you stand in hand to greet me. When the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, marching in, when the saints go marching in, go marching in, the Lord I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, one more time. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. That's good well, whistling, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> that's a blessing. Next, page one. Next song we're going to do is on higher ground. You know, when, when we get up to that mansion, we'll be on higher Amen. ground. Amen. So that's what we're looking forward to, higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gained. Every day, still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand on heaven's own heaven's table land. My higher plane than I have found. Oh, man. 
be our hope. A faith that's called the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Oh, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven. Time we'll turn it over to the pastor. Bless you, Ron. <laughs> Bless you, sweetie. You've done good. Bless you, Ron. Bless you, Pastor. Bless Joel. Bless, Bless you, Ron. brother. <laughs> We're so thankful for all of these that remain so faithful here on Monday nights. Uh, uh, brother Daryl couldn't be with us again tonight. Maybe wasn't feeling his best. Appreciate him calling and need to keep him in prayers. As Lord to touch him and bless him, and uh, he's going to be fine. He's just going to take a little rest. And we're thankful that you have turned on your television set this evening, that we might share an hour together to honor and praise God. And that's why we're here to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, not for any other reason. But Christ said, if I'll be lifted up, I'll draw all men into me. And that means women and children as well. We're thankful for each one of you that turn your televisions on on Monday nights. And, and we share this time period. Many of you not able to get out and go to church uh, in bad weather, good weather, whatever the weather might be, uh, because uh, uh, the years have approached on you and uh, just different things. And we're glad that we can share this time. And, and if it wasn't for your prayers and your financial help, this wouldn't be possible. Possible. And we're thankful for every one of you that uh, continue to support this broadcast. Now this evening we've got many things on our mind that we'd like to share with you. And we'd like to read a few verses of scripture taken from the 14th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14, ver beginning with verse number 12. We want you to get your Bible out. If you're laying there handy. Uh, kick all the magazines off the top of it or knock the dust off of it, whatever it might be. And get your Bible out. Read along and know that we're truly reading from the Word of God. And the words that we give are by direction of the Holy Spirit. Because anything that I would want to say would be unworthy of being said. But we want to proclaim to you Jesus Christ as King of kings and Lord of lords, and how one day he will certainly take a complete charge of everything that's going on here, and uh, oh, our, our adversary, the devil, uh, he'll be cast into that bottomless pit to burn throughout eternity. But right now he's walking to and fro on this whole earth, and he's out to deceive everyone that he possibly can to make individuals and nations as miserable as he possibly can, tearing down kingdoms and tearing apart homes uh, because he is in misery and misery likes company. So listen carefully to what the Lord is saying to the church this evening. And uh, through what we say, we pray will be a blessing unto you. Uh, Isaiah 14, verse 12, and there it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? which didst weaken the nations. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the high mountains, like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. 
They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? Let us pray. O oh, gracious and wise Heavenly Fathers, we enter your presence. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity of being here tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the love and the joy that you share with us each day. And, Lord, the messages you show us in all things. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless your word and guide and direct what's about to be spoken. Lord, that you'd be honored and glorified, and that your Holy Spirit would touch those that are lost, Lord, that they would accept you as Savior. Those that may be weak and indifferent will call for a renewing of your Holy Spirit that only you can give. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you in the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. And amen and amen. As we look tonight to God's holy word, we can see the prophet Isaiah was trying to tell the people of his day as well as the people, <coughs> excuse me, of our day today. Of this time frame in which we live, this was prophecies of the terrible things that was going to come about. And we can see that in our time right now, is, as Paul wrote unto Timothy, perilous times would come when men will be lovers of the creation more than the creator. And uh, they'll be wishy-washy about everything and, and just go one way and the other and just float in the wind with, uh, with the crowd. But folks, it's time that we need to take a stand for Jesus Christ. We need to stand up and say right is right. And wrong is wrong. And we see the problems and trials that we have in our own nation here, the United States of America, and, and we can lay the blame right at our own doorstep. We as Christians can lay the blame for these things right at the church door because we have failed to give God complete right away and to follow His direction and to take the stand that we should be taking. I saw in the evening news this evening where... Uh, the Boy Scouts, uh, and of course this was just the news is all it was. That's the only thing I have to go by, that they were trying to make a decision to, to let uh, uh, homosexual people, lesbians, be the scout leaders and scouts. And uh, we see uh, their Sunday evening on 60 Minutes, we saw uh, our president and our secretary of state sit there and tell us that the problems and trials that, uh, that we have around the world and the things that have happened and the things that they believe is going to happen because we never know from one day to the next what the devil is going to use to try to whip us out. But I want you to know the scripture says that we as Christians are more than conquerors. We can't accept these things and we can't let them happen. We need to pray for the leaders of our nation. We need to pray for each and every one that's in an office where they have a vote. And when we get opportunity to vote again, things like this, uh, we need to make our voice heard because that's the reason we're having all the problems that we have today is because we're surrendering to Satan. I believe it was up at Good Hope Tabernacle I seen the other day on the sign there at the road. Uh, you give the devil an inch and he'll be a ruler. You give the devil a little leeway in your life and he'll be the ruler of your life. Don't allow him to come in and ask you to compromise about what is right and what is wrong. Uh, I saw over in Brazil, I believe it was, where all of these young people was in this nightclub and the thing caught on fire and all these people died. And, and folks, uh, the old devil lives in places like this. I remember my dad telling me when I was a young man, you stay away from them bars. You stay away from uh, those evil places where the devil would guide and direct you to be because if you want knocked in the head, or you want your throat cut, that's the place to get her done. Now, folks, we need to tell our children and we need to look back just as the Scripture tells us. They said for uh, the folks to put the law down on the gatepost and up over their door and uh, tie it around their neck and, and tell their children and to share with them. When was the last time you sat down with your family and, and you read a verse of Scripture or you talked about the Lord and told your children to turn off that television, turn off that game, uh, turn off all the things of this world and get our hearts and minds where God would have us to be? The Lord said that if we would humble ourselves before Him, that He would take care of everything and He would heal our nation. 
You know, I'm proud to be a citizen of the United States of America. But folks, we can see that the devil is creeping in more each and every day because we as Christians are not saying enough is enough. Uh, I don't want to participate in the things that I know that Jesus uh, said, that God said was uh, blaspheming against the Lord. It was abomination against the Lord. And, and folks, we need to do the things that pleases the Lord. The only bragging rights that we have this evening, nothing that I've done or nothing you've done, but what God has done for you and for me by sending His only begotten Son onto this earth that we might have life and have it more abundantly. I know there's show on television called Duck Dynasty. And I'm thankful to that family as they sat around uh, their dinner table. Uh, old dad says, Lord, we thank you for another day here on this old planet Earth. And how thankful he is for his family. And, and folks, we need to be thankful for family. God established marriage and he established family so we could understand a small part of his love for us. We wouldn't want to do any harm to our children, but yet in this country there's millions of babies that are aborted because they're the wrong sex or because they just don't want the child. And folks, it, it leads to trouble. These kids are going to be crying out before God each and every day, and God is going to bring all of this into judgment. The Lord said we're going to be judged for what we've done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And my blessing in my life is helping to seek that which is lost. And as we gave the invitation yesterday morning at, at church, young man they'd never seen before, one of the ladies brought him and he came and he accepted Christ. And my, what a wonderful service we had there, knowing that Jesus is still in the saving business. And here in this prophecy, uh, old Lucifer, the old devil, uh, was asked uh, as he was thrown down, and will be thrown down one day into this bottomless pit. And as the devil's followers go by then, they're, they're just going to look on him and say, is this the powerful Lucifer, the powerful Satan that we worship, that we followed? The Apostle Paul was a great man of God, but before that, he served the devil. And he was a persecutor of the Christian. And folks, the Scripture tells us, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The devil was sitting here, it says in the 14th verse, says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and will be like the Most High up in the northern part. So up in the northern part, the devil said, I'm going up there and I'm going to put my throne higher than God's throne. I'm going to rule the stars and the the earth and, and all the things therein. But I want you to know the devil doesn't have that kind of power. He's limited in his powers. Even uh, whenever he was uh, trying to examine old Job, the Lord drew a line and said, uh, devil, you can go this far, but no farther. And the Lord draws lines. And there's things that the devil can't use against you because God won't allow. We need to pray every day. And we need to trust in the Lord because I've heard many people say, well, if I go to hell, I'm going to help the old devil keep up the fire. No, the devil's not going to be keeping up the fire, neither are you. It's going to be total darkness. And, and the, the power and the heat is going to be uh, furnished by God. And all of these that never accepted Christ are going to be cast into the pits of hell to burn throughout eternity. Not just a short moment, for on and on and on. I remember when I first started working years ago back at the glass factory. Uh, they had a big old tank there that uh, must have been four and a half feet deep with glass. It must have been 30 feet across it. And you'd reach that old blow pipe in there and turn that glass and, and blow a little bubble air in it and if you stayed in that hole very long to get that glass it would blister the back of your hand it was so hot in there I'd never seen anything that was completely white hot with my own eyes but there I did and for that glass to cool down it had to get red hot and there's different stages uh, I believe of punishment in hell as well as different degrees of reward in heaven and folks we need to get ourselves cleaned up we need to get off uh, the old line with the devil and get on the fire line for the Lord. The Lord gives you the opportunity to accept Him while you're here on this planet. And if you don't, before the old breath is taken out of this body, it'll be forever too late. Many people in hell tonight thought, well, I could go along with that or that'll be alright. 
Or there'll be another revival meeting. There'll be another television broadcast Monday night. And it never came for them because the Lord called them out. And they went out into eternity lost without Jesus. Folks, we need to get concerned. Satan is out there seeking to devour all that he possibly can. Yes, the devil has many powers and, and he touches people's minds. And that's the reason we come up with the things today. I remember Brother... Uh, Senator Robert Byrd, as he stood one time on the Senate floor, and they was talking about the homosexuality and the gay agenda, the sodomy thing. He, he said, I don't even know why that's here. I don't know why that a country would let something like this uh, come to where you have to make a decision about something that you already know is not what it should be. Folks, every day we're accepting things that shouldn't be accepted. And then... We as well as the, as the leaders of our nation say, God bless America. I want God to bless America, but God wants us to live for Him. Uh, he wants us to accept His Son that, that He sent down. And you have compassion for these people. I don't want to see anybody hurt. Uh, I want to see everybody saved and find the same peace and joy and contentment from within that I find myself in serving Jesus Christ. Folks, God can give us complete peace and harmony. Uh, we have many trials uh, over in the Middle East. We have many trials right here. And the trials and problems that we have, we have caused for ourselves because we haven't followed the straight and narrow. We've given in to this and we've given in to that. And, you know, I can remember when it, it used to be again the law to, to buy anything on Sunday. Call it a blue law. And, and you just couldn't go buy things. But all of that changed. And Things have changed, and it's not always for the best. Uh, people are saying, well, let's, let's beat up the gospel music and let, let's change it to what uh, the young people and others would want. Folks, Christ said that He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the old-time religion, the old-time song, and that's what saved Mom and Dad. That's what saved Grandma and Grandpa. And, and that's what saved me, the drawing of this Holy Spirit. And it's still good enough today. Still good enough today that we can find our way to the cross. They wrote that song at time by, uh, with uh, three old rusty nails and two pieces of wood. Jesus Christ built a bridge that I could go to heaven to live one day to be with the Lord forevermore. You know, the old devil, if he's got you down, if you're down and out and everything's going against you, he'll stand and laugh at you. He'll make fun of you. He doesn't care if you're not feeling good. Thank you, Millie. Uh, we're thankful for Millie being back there answering the telephone. And as we look at this this evening, know and realize that Lucifer, the devil himself, will be overthrown one day. Just as the Lord cast him out of heaven, the 12th chapter of Revelation says that there was great warring fractions in the heaven and the old devil was cast down not to hell, but down on this earth that he could deceive everyone that he possibly could. God never intended for any one of us to be sent to a devil's hell. God intended for us to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and live with Him, ruling and reigning and worshiping Him throughout eternity. There's no better place than being in the presence of God. Even if it's through the Holy Spirit here, we don't have to wait till we get to heaven to have a good time. We can have a good time right here. We can praise God. Each and every day, I pray for the leaders of our nation. I pray for the leaders of uh, our state and on local levels that God would guide and direct them. Never once did I hear our president or secretary of state say they're on 60 Minutes. Well, we went to the back room and we got the old closet and we shut the door and we got on our knees and we began to ask for God's guidance and direction. Folks, that's what we need. That's what we're going to have to have to really be delivered. We're going to have to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and then everything Everything else will be added into us. I assure you, if this nation began to trust in God the way it once did, when our forefathers founded this nation, all oh, there was problems then, and there's problems now. Men's hearts continue to wax cold. But I assure you that if we found ourselves on our knees asking for God's direction and guidance, that the things and the problems and trials of this whole country and of this whole world would begin to turn around because God said, I'll hear my people. If they'll just humble themselves. Maybe you've drifted away from the Lord. Maybe you've taken back up some of your old habits. Maybe you've uh, got to drink it again and you used to not do that. Uh, maybe you've went back to uh, shooting dope and, and, and you know better. Folks, get these sins out of your life. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and He will wash away a multitude of sins. The effectual, the prayer, effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Folks, we've all sinned and come short of God's glory. Anything that I've done for the Lord, you just count as nothing. If there's any bragging, you give it all to the Lord because He's the one that deserves it. It's a pleasure to work for the King. We had a funeral service this last week for uh, Annabelle Lips. And, you know, Annabelle's greatest desire was all of her family to be saved. And she prayed for that accord. And, and we prayed together and we trusted together. And, you know, it was a privilege to stand there. And at her graduation, some people call it a funeral, but I call it a graduation. I was able to see Bud, uh, a spore, a brother, or Bud. It was so good to see you. It's been a while. He's the old candy man. I used to mention him a lot when he was able to call into the broadcast. And many, many others that we know that watches this broadcast. I know that Carrie Allender gets uh, in front of the old television and we'll start off singing. He'll start right in. And he said, Now, we sounded pretty good there last night. And, you know, if Carrie tells me that, I know it had to be because he, he wouldn't tell me nothing but the truth. And many others that sing along. And, and pray with us and we trust together. And folks, we need to get our hearts and minds off the things of this world, off the things that the devil has given us to take our mind off God. Because the devil will tell you, you have time for everything except church. You have time for everything except visiting a neighbor, maybe that's sick. I went down Sunday to visit a young boy at United Hospital Center that has had all of his... Uh, insides taken out that they could possibly take out. Got that old cancer and has the clotophy bags and uh, you know that boy's still trusting God and he said anytime God's ready for me, I'm ready for him. He's probably 35 years old. They told him that he had a brain tumor he's uh, on his way tonight to go to Morgantown. Be much in prayer for Stephen Brown that God will touch him and bless him because God has used him in such a great and a mighty way. It's not God's will that any of us be sick. It was never God's will that we grow old and die to this old body. But because of the sin that was back in the Garden of Eden, this all came into being. And we can't stand back and blame Adam and Eve for everything because we've sinned too. We've fallen short. We've made mistakes. But God is quick to forgive us if we call on Jesus Christ. And by His blood, we are cleansed and purified that heaven one day will be our home. If you're watching tonight and you don't know Christ, accept Him and you'll find joy like you never thought possible. And if you do know Him, live for Him faithfully each and every day. And maybe you've done something wrong that's offended somebody, ask Him to forgive you. Or maybe someone that has done something that hurt your feelings, well, just forgive them and go on. That's what we got to do. And then if we love them, we can love God as well. But if we don't have love for our fellow man, we can't love God because we've never seen him. And that's what the Scripture teaches. This evening, we want to go over the prayer requests that we have here before us that God would touch and bless. And I see right on the top there for prayer for Virgie Landers and the candy man. We certainly send out prayers uh, for you both this evening. And Virgie, we appreciate you all the times that you called. And you know, we want to remember uh, Kathy Anderson this evening. Kathy, if you're watching, we pray you're just feeling better every day. When you least expect it, I'll be by for more cookies and coffee. And uh, I know that you and Ron will make sure that happens. Uh, also on the prayer list, Stephen Brown, Ron Bennett, uh, Velma Eckerd, uh, Thelma Carpenter, Connie Tifter, Debbie Page, Randy, Lonnie Collins, Gene Starr and wife, uh, Shirley, uh, George Hawkins, Chick Tenney, Edna Maxwell family, uh, Cat Channel, Rodney Irvin, uh, Audra Farrar, Audra, good to see you today, uh, Nathaniel Russell, uh, Juliet Moran, Joyetta Moran, uh, Joanne Knight, uh, May Collins and family, Julie McDaniels, uh, Dayton Cutright. Uh, it says here's in the hospital, Dayton. Our prayers goes out to you this evening. Enjoy being over at your church preaching the other night. Uh, for May, uh, B. Moore, for Rose and Floyd Cutright, Leroy Bennett, uh, Janet Carpenter, Martha Cobb, and uh, Lita. Davidson. And there's many, many more. We want to remember uh, the family of Junior Hire. We want to remember uh, George and Patty Racing. I uh, want to remember uh, uh, Virgil Helmick. Virgil, 
We pray you watch this evening, feeling good. Uh, we'll be by torment you one of these days when you least expect it. And we follow the Spirit where it guides and directs it. And we visit many people. And I've said many times, if I haven't been in your house in the last six months, you can thank God for being so good to you in more ways than one. Uh, we just pray that God's blessing you. And he'll direct us to, to visit where it's needed to be, that we don't waste any of his time because there's so many people out there that need to be seen and the gospel needs to be shared with them because today is the day of salvation. Right now, this moment, uh, because it may be the last moment that you'll ever have. Let us bow our heads and pray together. Oh, gracious and wise, Heavenly Father, as we enter your presence, once again, we thank you for your holy word. We thank you for these who have called in tonight. And Lord, we ask a special prayer for each one that you would heal the one that needs healed, uplift the one that needs uplifting, comfort the one that needs comforted. But most of all, Lord, if there's one there right now calling on your name for salvation, forgive them of their sin. Wash them and cleanse them and purify them by your blood and make us fit for heaven that one day we can rejoice and shout with you throughout eternity. Bless this nation, Lord, and, and Lord, we ask you to bless the leaders of this nation. The Lord, once again, they'll get on bended knee and they'll humble themselves and call upon your precious name. And Lord, we know that you'll do your part if we'll certainly do ours. And Lord, for all of these things, we honor and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen and amen. God bless each one of you. The singers come back to sing us off the air. God bless you and good night. Well, I'm going to share a couple songs with you this evening and then turn it over to Ron and Emma. You know, uh, old, uh, allergies acting up a little bit, but we'll try to get through them the best we can. Uh, the first song I'm going to do is uh, Sorry I Never Knew You. And I want to send it out to to uh, Cleo Wingfield, Vanny Cornell, Gus Allender, Luella and Maynard Hannafin, Harold and Elsie Lewis and uh, Amen. Uh, Henry and Jesse Friend and uh, Gary and his wife, uh, Gary Holland and his wife. Uh, sorry I never knew you. Amen. And sing it for Cat and Bill Channel. And Bill, we'll remember you in prayer as well. It said that he was sick. So I know God will touch and bless him. So we'll send this song out to you and uh, may the Lord bless you, Bill, and take care of you. Sorry I never knew you. <clears throat> Last night while I lay sleeping, a dream came to me. I dreamed about the end of time, about eternity. I saw a million sinners fall on their knees to pray. The Lord then sadly shook his head, and this I heard him say. Sorry, I never knew you. I find no record of your birth. Sorry, I never knew you. So go and serve the one that you served down on earth. I saw my wife and baby. I heard their loving voice. They must have been so happy. Oh, how they did rejoice. Their robes are white around them, their faces all array. My little boy looked up at me, and this I heard him say. Daddy, we can't go with you. We must dwell in the presence of our Lord. Daddy, yes, we still love you, but you'll never be my daddy anymore. And when I awakened, the tears were in my eyes. And looking all around me, and there to my surprise, I saw the wife and baby, I knew it was a dream. And down beside that bed of mine, you should have heard me scream. Father, who aren't in heaven, well, I know you gave your only son. Father, oh, please forgive me, for I want to be ready when you come. Lord, I want to be ready when you come, when you come.
next song I'm going to sing is, is uh, If You See a Man in Sandals. And I'd like to send it out to Ronnie and Janet Rogers and to Barry Beckner and his wife, and Charlie Allen and his wife. And hope you all like this one. If you see a man in sandals, won't you send him down my way? It might be my master, he's coming back someday. If you see a man in white, like no one you've seen before, send him on to me, cause that's the man I'm looking for. If you can remember, ask him what's his name. If he tells you Jesus, just say we're so glad you came. Tell him you know someone who still calls him Lord. Then send him on to me, cause that's the man I'm looking for. If you see a man that glows with a love light on his face, Turn him down my street so he can find my place. If his hands are nail scarred, please don't shut your door. Just send him on to me, cause that's the man I'm looking for. If you can remember, ask him what's his name. If he tells you Jesus, just say we're so glad you came. Tell him you know someone who still calls him Lord. Then send him on to me, cause that's the man I'm looking for. Yes, send him on to me, cause that's the man I'm looking for. God bless you all. Good night. Got a request here for Mary and Robert Eubank. They want to hear a long black train. There's a long black train going down the line, beating off the souls that are lost in cry. Real of sin, only evil remain. Watch out, brother, for that long black train. Look to the heavens, you can look to the sky. You can find redemption staring right back in your eye. There is protection, there is cease a thing. Burn your tickets for that long black train. But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. There's an engineer on that long black train. Making you wonder if the ride is worth the pain. He's just a hoping on your heart to say, Let me ride on that long black train. But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. Oh, I can hear the whistle from a mile away. It sounds so good, but I must stay away. A train's a beauty making everybody stare. But his only destination is the middle of nowhere. But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name. Riding on that long black train With God child brother for that long black train Oh devils are driving that long black train Hey we used to tell her come in or something we do her for spatial Tell her come in or so she can do that spatial She's coming You're supposed to done yours first and you run off <laughs> 
I don't know who wants me to play a song tonight, but I'm going to try something different for you. I'm going to try to play Where the Roses Never Fade. Yeah, I got a request here for Orphan Child by, for, uh, by Karen. I'll do that next. I am an orphan on God's highway. I share my trouble if you go my way. I have no mother, no father, no sister, no brother. I am an orphan child. I had had friendship, you're in golden, but the price of kinship, I have not known this. I have no mother, no father, no sister, no brother. I am an orphan child. Gracious Savior, if you're willing, walk beside me until I'm able. Be my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. I am an orphan child. When God calls me, I'll be able to meet my family at God's table. I'll meet my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. No more an orphan child. Okay, out the uh, couple right here, uh, Robert Michael Fairbury, any, uh, any song he says for his birthday tomorrow. Uh, also, precious memories of memory of James Simons. So we'll, uh, we'll send this out for that on then. Precious memory, unseen angel, says from somewhere to my soul, how they linger ever near me, and the sacred past unfolds. Precious memory. How they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, praises 
sacred scenes unfold. Gracious Father, loving Mother, why across the lonely childhood and fond memories appear. Precious memory, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. past I hear, old time singing, gladness bringing, from that lovely land somewhere, gracious memory, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. sacred scenes unfold. I remember mother praying, father to unbended knee. Blood is sinking, shadows falling, but their prayer still followed me. Precious memory, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, gracious sacred scenes unfold. As I travel on life's pathway, know not what tears may hold. As I ponder, hope grows further, precious memory flood my soul. Precious memory, how they linger, how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, pray sacred scenes unfold. That's all for Rodney Irving. I know your life on earth was trouble. Only you could feel the pain. You know that night just for the devil. You were no stranger to the or as high on that mountain And your work on earth is done Go to heaven a shouting Love for the Father in the Son Oh how we cry The day you left us As you get grave to grief Wish I could see the angels faces when they heard your sweet voice sing I rest high on that mountain Son, your work on earth is done Go to heaven a shouting Love for the fire.